This video will show you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S4. This will work on pretty much every single variant. The International, the Sprint version like we have here, AT&T, T-Mobile, and etc. So let's go ahead and do this. It's a simple freaking tool. It's so easy, but I'm still gonna make a video on it. It's Moto Chopper by DJ Bliss, DGR Bliss. I'll put his name on the screen. And I'll also have a link to his thread in the description below. But first thing you're gonna wanna do is this device is not rooted. I got it yesterday. I had got it less than 24 hours ago and here I am rooting it. So I'm gonna go to menu, settings. That's how we do things on the What Would Josh Do channel. We literally just root it, you know, as soon as we can. <laughs> Unfortunately, Samsung built the need to completely change the settings page, which is completely stupid. And I'm gonna have my opinion on which device I would rather keep in my pocket, the HTC One or the Galaxy S4. So please stay tuned and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already to see that video. So we need to find out where the heck they put the freaking development where they decide to hide it and change it and move it to. This is dumb. Uh, my device, um, accessibility, accessory, develop, where the heck is the, oh, I bet you it's here where you go to about and then you gotta like go to the build number. Yeah, there we go, three steps, two steps, one step. Developer mode now enabled, sweet, okay, so I was right. Now we just gotta find where, there it's at. Developer options, right there. See, did, did you see that? I, it wasn't there, now it is. Developer options, used to be debugging is on. We need to make sure this right here is checked. Press okay. And now we can hook it up to the computer. I have this plugged in, but I don't have the other end plugged into my computer just yet. All right, audio is in sync. I got the overlay on the screen now. I'm gonna go ahead and take it away because I need to just show you the web page. Okay, so here we are. This is the Moto Chopper page. As you can see, it says the Galaxy S4, AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile. So huge shout out to DJR Bliss. He's also responsible for unlocking the bootloader on the Verizon version of the Galaxy S4, but I do not think he's released the unlock at this time. So you do need the USB drivers. That's super simple. I'll have the fastest link possible in the description below to the newest Samsung USB drivers below. So please click show more and the link to this thread, the latest USB drivers, pretty much an instant download. Everything will be in the description below. So here we go. We've downloaded this already. It's just a motor chopper zip. It is currently on my desktop. He did not post the MD5, and I'm a big fan of checking that. So there's mine. I'll actually copy it and put it on the screen while editing, or blow this up, actually. So the last four are 5A46. And so it's just a zip. You'll just take it, and then you will drag it to your desktop. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it right here, because I'm going to have my phone on the left. So open this up. It opened on my second monitor. I'll go ahead and open that again. Ah, uh, come on. I'll just move it over to my other monitor. All right, so in here, it's so, so simple. Now that you have USB debugging enabled on your Samsung Galaxy S4, you just double click this. Now I have UAC disabled, and how you'll find out is you just type UAC, and then you'll go here, and then it'll say not never notify. I'm a very, very long time user of like Windows, and so like I could probably even run without an antivirus. So if you're someone that like tends to get it, viruses, etc., don't disable that. So what you'll need to do is right click that and run as administrator, and it'll pop up saying, do you want to allow or do you want to continue? And you'll just press yes or allow. I don't have to since I am the administrator always. So here we go. Yes, your debugging is enabled. Um, make sure you have the latest drivers. If you find yourself with it like saying waiting for device, just get a different USB cable. I can actually link in the description. You might have to remind me to put it there because I'll probably forget, but I can link in the description to the USB cables that I'm currently using. It's like $3 for the 6 foot and the 3 foot, and it's like $8 for the 10 foot. Well, I paid $7 for my 10 foot cable. So I'll link to those in the description. They're very cheap, and they work very well. And it's a very stiff connection, meaning it doesn't wobble around in there, and it's 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 real tight. So let's go ahead and just press enter, and see what happens. When you have dual monitors, I wish you could snap stuff to the right, like you can when like when you don't have dual monitors, or I can snap something to the left. So what's the device doing at this time? Where I'm looking at my, I got my um, Samsung Galaxy S3 and DSLR controller showing me what my camera is seeing. So it's waiting for the device, but it's not doing anything. 
Oh, no. I'm a... Oh, I haven't plugged that USB cable into my computer yet. Here we go. Ha ha ha. I am a dumb butt. I hate it when it opens this stuff on my second monitor. Because i got to drag it over to the first monitor. I should just, like, disable my first monitor when I'm... <laughs> or I disable my second monitor when I'm recording. So, there we go. Wow. I, I named my Galaxy S4 What Would Josh Do in my unboxing video. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, the intro you just saw is by Anim85. So, shout out to him for making that awesome freaking intro. If if you liked it. If you didn't like it, let me know. I, I, I think it's pretty cool. So, But I, don't, I want your opinion, of course. Okay, so we need to go to the phone and press allow. Remember to press this right here if you trust the computer you're hooking it up to, and then press OK. All right, so it's pushing super user APK, re rooting phone, cleaning up, exploit complete, press enter to reboot and exit. Awesome, so phone is rebooting at the moment. Now, I will have a video showing you how to install uh, Torp Recovery. It is the best t custom recovery out there. It's touch screen so you don't wear it on your buttons and it's free and it's awesome and I highly recommend it and so does like most developers out there. So I have a vi next video I post will hopefully be on how to install the latest Torp Recovery and also it'll be like how to update it. So like if a newer version comes out I'll show you how to update it, how to check if there is a later update etc. So that'll be a separate video. I'm trying to do shorter videos since I usually do really really long videos so yeah. Let's go back to the phone. I'm going to go ahead and stop recording with the computer because there's absolutely no reason to continue with this recording. <laughs> Eject, what would Josh do? <laughs> Alright, so the phone just rebooted after the first time of doing this. So let's see if we have super user in our app drawer. Somewhere over there. There it is. It's This is Couch's super user, so... It is what it is. Um, you can install whatever other like Super SU or Chainfire Super User, whichever one you want. So let's download an app that'll let us know if we have Super User. It's by Joey Krim. Now I am using SwiftKey because I cannot stand Samsung's keyboard. I just I cannot do it. It is not possible for me to use that and type. <laughs> I, I cannot stand it at all. I love SwiftKey so much. So we're going to open this up and then press agree. And then you can follow Joey Krim on Twitter if you want to. It just tells you what all is different. Verify root access. And remember choice forever because this is different. And press allow. And then congratulations. Root access is, you have root access. Device is root access. And then also you can go to the Play Store and you can download Titanium backup and that is my video which is a super old video and I'm going to redo it here in the next couple months and now that I have a lot more time than I used to I will be able to make a much better much more awesome video um, than that one so allow and then oh come on go away press ok and then press ok and then unknown sources that's the only thing keeping us from it. Ah, they... Arr, I hate that they changed this so much. You've got to, like, relearn everything you knew about Android. Where the heck is security at? Security. Security. Right there. And then unknown sources. Okay. I'm going to actually take this right here. And I'm going to export it to my SD card. And then next time I open Titanium Backup, right here, it I'll push Menu, and then Reload Application. And then I should have, yep, I have Pro. Sweet. So I can go into Dropbox by going here to Menu, Preferences. I always check that. And then Enable Dropbox. 
And then now when I go to schedules and I hit run, it'll say log in and then it'll make me verify my Dropbox and you just click allow and it starts downloading all of your backups that you've uploaded from your previous phone. So that my friends is how to root the Samsung Galaxy S4. It is super, super simple. It'll take five minutes of your day. Probably the hardest part will be getting the Samsung USB drivers, which again, I will link to the very latest Samsung USB drivers and I'll have the fastest link possible. Uh, I won't make you enter any CAPTCHA or anything like that. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. That's all I ask. It lets me know you enjoyed the video and you wanna see more videos like this. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be doing my first impressions Friday, hopefully Friday. I'll do my full review the next week. I'll do my HTC One versus Galaxy S4 my opinions, no one else's, based on my you know, time with this device and my time with the HTC One, and which one I would rather have in my pocket, and which one I'd gladly hand over to the wife so she can have one of the newest smartphones out there right now too. So again, please give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe, this is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out. Oh, links to follow me on Twitter, and I'll also create a playlist for the Samsung Galaxy S4, and you can find that in the description below. So all of my Galaxy S4 videos will be in one link, and easy to find, and yeah, I'm out. So please stay stu- So please stay- So please stay- ugh. So please stay tuned.